some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Chester, New Hampshire, with the frauditor known as MAA Audits and his little dingbat frauditor buddy, uh, with the, whom he shares two brain cells with. And guess what? They don't use their brain cells very well in this particular video, considering that they don't seem to understand the purpose of a locked door. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? All right, everybody. I'm here in Chester, New Hampshire. We're going to ask this cop here if uh, they're going to violate our rights beyond them doors over there inside that building. Officer. Nobody in there is going to violate your rights. Not that they ever do anyway. But this key combination lock right here, yeah, that might be a different story in your case because you're just too dumb to figure it out. And it will have to be explained to you in detail. I'm in good freaking grief, dude. Are you that freaking ignorant? He was my neighbor and he violated me. Now I'll never end up in a fancy pie. I thought that was uh, a speed gun you were holding, but it's a hair dryer. To dry no hair that you have. Okay. Hey, this is Officer Dummy. Hey, badge sir. number. Sarge, can I have your name and badge number, please? <laughs> yeah, he is a Sarge. Do you see the stripes? Oh, you don't want to talk? All right, let's enter this building and see what's going on here in Chester. The first time I've been here. I'm with Auditing Haverhill. He's over there talking to the cop. Okay. Ah, yes, that's very productive of that frauditor. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Uh, use up all your time uh, talking to the uh, scarecrow cop over there. It seems like a better use of the uh, dummy's time anyway. I'm not, and I'm not talking about the scarecrow. I don't know, Chester. <clears throat> About to enter Town Hall. Like, share, and subscribe, people. Smoke free, electronic free. So, in other words, there's no um, vaping or nothing in here. Oh no, God! No, God, please, no! No! Yeah, that's some real hard hitting journalism right there. Like, we really needed to know that uh, there is no vaping or smoking in the building. Yeah, uh, keep up the good work, asshole. Closed on Friday, 10 to 6. Eight to two. They got some weird hours here. Let's hopefully the people inside ain't as weird as the hours. Oh, she's not. Look at her run. Oh. That girl, she, she ran inside her office. Oh, which one's she going? <clears throat> Hi. Can you help me? I don't know. I saw you dashing over there. Yeah, I had to tell Bill me something. What, that the auditors are here? <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Thank you. So they're gonna they're gonna act the right way because she was just warned. Welcome new residents. Hi. She ran over here, boys, like we got guys with cameras. <laughs> you sure about that? You sure about that? You sure about that? Yeah, are you sure about that? Or are you just making shit up because you want to overflate your already overflated egos? Because it's more than likely she was in a hurry doing her job. I mean, come on now. Have you ever worked a day in your life and you're rushing somewhere? I have plenty of times. That's that's not nice because, you know, <laughs> we, we, like to, we like to get true interactions with people, not have somebody run and say, hey, come guys here with cameras, be on your best behavior, you know? <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> is this where we go to do, uh, file complaints? 
No, actually, you can file a complaint. We're just the town clerk's office. Oh. You can file a complaint with either the selectman office, which is across the hall, that door there. Yeah. Or we can give you the town administrator. I was just talking to the sergeant on the, on the grass and... closed I don't know I mean there's not there's not much in here oh it's locked okay so they locked the door I don't know what it is hi this office is not open to the public it is not how can I help you where I don't um, see any sign saying that were you born this stupid or did you have to work at this frauditor because don't you see the combination lock right there before you? I mean, it should be as obvious as the nose on your face that uh, there is no access to that office. But I guess you're just too damn stupid to figure it out. But don't worry. She's about to explain it to you. Yeah. You need to put up a sign because this is administration, right? I got to I got to knock at the door or I got to have you come to the door to get in your office that's that's not good. That's not good for the public, you know what I mean? It's it's open to the public. It's absolutely actually, absolutely open to the Is this the lady that ran across the hall? No. Oh. No. Did I what? No, no. Uh, no well, as we were coming in somebody seen us and they she ran over there and let them know that the guys are here with the cameras. And that's <laughs> probably that's probably why your door's locked. No, my door is actually always locked. Okay, can I ask you a question? Uh, why? I mean, okay. it doesn't say personnel only, like like that door, Street restricted, access. authorized personnel. I mean, this this says you're open. You know what I mean? I am open. But the door's locked, so you're not open. You're open to who you want to be open to? There's no lock on this door. Thank you. I have to sit there, and I have to actually Press put a code, code to get into this office, no matter what. Do you know what that means, Frauditor? It means that it's not exactly open to the public. If a door is locked, that means it's a restricted area. Restricted to dumbasses like you who believe that they can walk into any door they want as long as it doesn't say restricted on it. And well, shouldn't this be a big sign to you that says restricted access? Because not every restricted access door will say restricted on it. It's just common damn sense, you know. But I guess common sense waved bye-bye to you a long time ago, along with the last two brain cells that you had. So it automatically locks? Yep. Automatically yeah. locks. Well, I, I think a sign would still be great, good, you know what I mean? Oh, no, okay. no admittance without... Well, the only reason is if somebody's coming out and I was to walk in and then somebody's coming out and the door is slightly open, trying to close, I can just go in. So if it's restricted, you put up a sign, the minute I see it, I know it's restricted. Just like that, one on the glass. Okay. Just and what's your name? Janice. How long have you been working here for? Five and a half years. Okay, good. You like it? I do. All right. Get some. Is this where we uh, file complaints? You can file a complaint with me. Sure. If you can follow me for one second, I'll show you. It's pretty weird, people. I mean, they, they they limit the people here in Town Hall in Chester, you know, and, and then they warn the other people working in the building. It's it's this is small. This is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. All right, we're gonna go next door to the police station. I mean, this this place is to me is a little ridiculous as a town hall. Okay, so there is scarecrows everywhere. 
Okay. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She started cracking up when I told her about the Sarge. Sarge didn't I, want to I talk to me. Give me what? Give me his name and badge number. Yeah. I actually saw the woman run across. And tell them. That they I'm gonna go see the real Sarge. <laughs> oh, have fun. <laughs> you know, I really don't think that woman cared about uh what anything these frauditors had to say about the restricted area signs, because you know what? It should be common damn sense that a lock door is a restricted area. I mean, all you gotta do is see the key combination on there to realize that it is a locked door. I mean, it should not be enough, but I guess it's not enough for these damn frauditors. Oh boy. I guess they're the kinds of people that would uh, spill hot coffee on their uh, laps at uh, McDonald's and sue them because, well, they got burned by the very hot coffee that they ordered knowing it was hot. Yeah, they're those kinds of people. So, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. <laughs>